Hi students, today is the fourth day of chapter 13, Transport. In this chapter, we have already learnt about roadways and railways. Types of roads, types of railways, we have already discussed about it. Now, I will take feedback of the topics we have already discussed. Tell me the definition of roadways and railways. Name the cities connected by Golden Quadrilateral. Who built the first Grand Trunk Road? Name two heritage trains of India. I hope you all are able to answer these questions. And today we will discuss about airways and waterways in detail. Let us discuss few terms. First is waterways, the slowest and cheapest means of transport, for example, ship. Airways, the fastest and expensive means of transport, example, aeroplane. Perishable goods, goods which spoil quickly, example, fruits. Canal, an artificial waterway, example, Indira Gandhi Canal. Peninsula, a piece of land surrounded by water on three sides, example, India. Port, a place where ship arrives and departs, example, Mumbai port. And let us discuss few difficult words. First is raft, a boat made up of wood tied together. Second, route, a way. Third, coastline. A line that forms boundary between land and sea. Fourth, expensive, that is costly. Destination, a place to which a person or thing is going. Open your social studies book on page number 90. You have to mark terms and meanings side by side. Heading, waterways. Write on its term, the slowest and cheapest means of transport. Rafts and boats were the earliest means of transport. They were replaced by sailboats which were powered by wind. The increasing trade demanded a faster means of transport. The meaning of raft, a boat made up of wood tied together, trade, business. Man had to cross rivers and streams. He hollowed tree trunks and used them to cross rivers. These were known as rafts, which were replaced by sailboats. But as trade increased, they wanted to have faster means of transport. Now, let us see some pictures. Here you people can see a raft, that is a wooden boat. Here you people can see a modern raft and rafting of Rishikesh and Manali is very common in India. This is picture of boat and students, I hope you people have done boating either in company garden or in Sun City amusement park. Here you people can see a sailboat which moves according to the direction of wind. But with increase in trade, we needed faster means of transportation. Invention of steam engine resulted in boats fitted steam engines. These boats are called ships. These large ships can move faster and can carry heavy goods. Other words, then came ships which had steam engines and can run fast as compared to rafts, boats and ships. And these ships can carry goods as well as passengers to far off places. First of all, you all should know there are three types of ships. First is passenger ship, ships which carry passengers, for example Titanic. Second, cargo ship, ships which carry goods. Third, tanker ship, ships which carry oil and petroleum. Here you people can see a passenger ship, for example cruise. 
this is the picture of cargo ship which is used to carry heavy goods for example food grains from one place to another now you people can see tanker ship which is used to carry oil and petroleum food grains and petroleum can thus be moved to far off places at cheaper rate as these ships have cold storage facilities even perishable goods can be transported mark the meaning of perishable goods goods which spoil easily using these ships we can transport food grains fruits flowers oil petroleum to different places perishable goods these ships have cold storage facilities in which perishable goods like fruits flowers vegetables do not get spoiled easily the new routes which connect the seas through canals have made the sea routes easier and faster mark the meaning of routes ways canal and artificial waterway the swiss canal and the panama canal are the best examples then man built canals which were artificial waterways through which traveling in water was made easier and faster now let us discuss few canals the swiss canal connects red sea and mediterranean sea and the panama canal connects pacific ocean and atlantic ocean the swiss canal is an artificial waterway which is in the level with the sea situated in egypt this connects the mediterranean sea and red sea the panama canal is an artificial 82 km waterway in panama that connects the atlantic ocean with the pacific ocean as south india is a peninsula it is surrounded by water on three sides in its long coastline it has number of ports like kolkata visakhapatnam chennai cochin and mumbai mark the term of peninsula a piece of land surrounded by water on three sides coastline a line that forms boundary between land and sea port a place where ship arrives and departs let us understand it with help of maps in this picture you people can see map of india and you all know india is a peninsula which means it is surrounded by water on three sides arabian sea in the west bay of bengal in the east and indian ocean in the south the ports and shipping industry in india play a vital role in growth and trade of india now let us discuss few ports which are given in your book kolkata which is capital of west bengal visakhapatnam which is in andhra pradesh chennai which is capital of tamil nadu cochin which is in kerala mumbai which is capital of maharashtra except all these ports there are other ports of india too let us read their names paradeep in odisha tutikon in tamil nadu mangalore in karnataka marmagao in goa kandla in gujarat through these ports india transport all its exports and imports internally many rivers like ganga and brahmaputra are used for transportation the meaning of export which means goods sold to foreign country and import goods brought from other country all these ports are used for transporting export and import from india to other countries and from other countries to india and in india rivers like ganga and brahmaputra are also used for transportation to move from one place to another now we will discuss about air transport which is fastest mode of transport and therefore suitable for carrying goods over a long distance as it requires less time and air transport provides comfortable efficient and 
quick transport services. Write down meaning of airways, the fastest and expensive means of transport. Let us read next heading that is airways. The fastest and most expensive means of transport is by air. Mark the meaning of expensive that is costly. Aeroplanes can fly over any landform. Landform is any physical feature and aeroplanes can fly over mountains, plains, deserts. They can fly over any physical feature. In 1903, Wright brothers invented and built the first aeroplane and named it the Flyer. Put it in brackets. Since then, many improvements have been made in shape and speed. Here you people can see picture of Orville Wright and Wilbur Wright. The Wright Flyer, also referred as Flyer 1, or 1903 flyer was the first successful aircraft designed and built by the Wright brothers. They flew it four times on December 17, 1903. And after that, many changes have been made in shape and speed of aircrafts. Today, millions of people travel to various places by air. Almost all important cities of the world are connected by air. Some cities like London, New York, Paris and Jeddah have large airports with all modern facilities. Let us understand it with help of pictures. Many people travel to different places by air. To travel in different parts of the world, we need to have two documents and they are passport and visa. Passport is an official document issued by the government of one's own country which certifies our identity. And visa is official document issued by the government of the country we want to visit. It allows us to stay in foreign country. And here you people can see airport of New York, airport of Jeddah, airport of Paris and airport of London which have all the modern facilities. In India, we have airlines run both by the government and private sectors. These airlines connect India with major cities of world. Within India, they connect about 100 cities. In India, we have two types of airlines. First is government airlines and second is private airlines. Air India is government owned airlines which has its headquarters at New Delhi which is serving 94 domestic and international destinations. Destination is a place to which a person or thing is going. India's four leading private airlines are Indigo, Spicejet, Go Air, Jet Airways and Jet Light. There are airlines which connect different cities of India. For example, if you want to go from Delhi to Mumbai, you can use any of the domestic airlines to reach there within two hours. Now you people can see Indira Gandhi International Airport of Delhi. Here you people can see Chhatrapati Shivaji International Airport of Mumbai. And this is Shri Guru Ram Das Ji International Airport of Amritsar. These airlines carry a large number of passengers and cargo to various destinations every day. Markdown meaning of destination, a place to which a person or thing is going. These airlines carry people and goods to different places every day. Now, you all have to solve true-false. I will read it for you. First is, canals connect to lakes. Second, food grains and petroleum 
can be transported only through roads third airway is the fastest and the most expensive means of transport now let us read no more on december 17 1903 at kitty hawk north carolina the flyer was flown four times that day with orville and his brother wilbur alternating as pilot the longest flight with the wilbur at controls was 260 meters 852 feet and lasted 59 seconds The flyer was flown four times that day by Wright brothers. Longest flight of that day was 260 meters and lasted 59 seconds only. In 1903 the brothers made four flights in the Wright flyer and as Orville and Wilbur stood discussing the final flight a sudden strong gust of wind caught hold of the aircraft and flipped it several times with this we have completed chapter 13 transport in this chapter we have learnt about roadways railways waterways and airways and you all have to read waterways and airways today and your today's homework is to solve exercise a and c and hots on page number 93 thank you